Okay, so let's start. So our topic for today is about chart of accounts. So of different accounts like asset, liabilities, capital, revenue, and expense. So let's start with the expenses. Expenses are all under debit side. All are expenditures or expense under the operation of the business. Expenses are temporary account or nominal account. Expenses are deducted to sales, revenue, or service income. Expenses decreases capital account. So, there are many examples of expenses such as salaries expense, wages, utilities, communication expense, advertising expense, gas and oil, transportation expense, notarial expense, depreciation expense, amortization expense, representation expense, capital expense, miscellaneous expense, pag-ibig contribution, pill health contribution, SSS contribution, office supplies expense, allowances, donation expense, bookkeeper's fee, and many more. So, journal entries, when expenses are paid in cash, so we debit expenses, we credit cash. To record expenses paid in cash. When expenses are paid on account, so we record debit expense and credit accounts payable. To record expenses paid on account. So, let's proceed with the gross income. Gross income are all under credit side. They are typically called sales, service income, or revenue, and all are income under the operation of the business. Gross income are temporary account or nominal account. Gross income increases capital account. Example of gross income. So, we have sales or net sales, service income or service revenue, gross income, revenue, Journal entries that we can use when gross income are received in cash. So, debit cash, credit gross income. To record gross income received in cash from customer. When gross income are received on account, so we debit accounts receivable and we credit gross income. To record gross income received on account. Remember this, gross income minus expenses is equals to net income. And they are all under income statement or statement of operation. So, now let's proceed with the asset, liabilities, and capital. So, these three are all part of balance sheet. So, let's start with asset. Assets are all under debit side. All are asset or what the business own. Assets are original account or real account. Assets are divided into current asset, non-current asset, and intangible asset. Assets increases capital account. Example of current asset, we have cash, cash on hand, cash in bank, petty cash fund, cash and cash equivalent, marketable securities, accounts receivable, notes receivable, interest receivable, loans receivable, Inventory, merchandise inventory, raw materials inventory, work and process inventory. We have pinch goods inventory, prepayments, prepaid expense, prepaid rent, prepaid supplies or office supplies, prepaid tax, prepaid insurance, stock and trade deposits. So, example of non current asset we have land, property, building or plant, and equipment wherein they are composed of the following machineries, vehicles. Heavy equipment, office equipment, tools and equipment, furniture and fixtures. And the contra account of non-current asset, we have accumulated depreciation. Example of intangible asset. So we have patent, copyright, franchise, software, goodwill, trademark, and trademark. So journal entries are when assets are purchased in cash. So, we debit asset, we credit cash. To record asset, paid in cash. When assets are purchased on account, so we debit asset, we credit accounts payable. To record asset, paid on account. So, let's proceed with liabilities. We have liabilities are all under credit side. All our assets, uh, all our liabilities or what the business owes. Liabilities are original account or real account. Liabilities are divided into current liabilities and non-current liabilities. Liabilities decreases capital account. 
Example of current liabilities. So, we have notes payable, current, trade payable, short-term payable, accruals, accrued salaries, accrued expense, accrued rent, and dividends payable. We ha also have accrued interest, accrued insurance, accrued tax, tax payable, salaries payable, interest payable, insurance payable, deferred tax, etc. Examples of non-current liabilities are the following. Long-term payable, notes payable long-term, stockholders payable, bonds payable. So, let's proceed with the journal entries of liabilities. When company paid the suppliers on account, so we debit accounts payable, we credit cash. To record payment of liabilities to supplier. When company purchased asset on account, so we debit asset. The credit accounts payable. To record asset paid on account. When company purchase expense on account. We debit expense. The credit accounts payable. To record liabilities paid on account. So, let's proceed with the last one which is the capital. Capital are all under credit side. All our capital are what the business invest. Capital are original account. Their original account or real account, capital decreases, capital account. And capital are composed of the following. We have beginning capital, less net income, less withdrawal. Capital can be with its retained earnings. So, example of capital. So, we have capital, owner's equity, owner's capital. So, they are all part of sole proprietorship. Partner's equity and partner's capital are all part of partnership and the stockholders equity belongs when the business is a corporation so capital and uh, uh, it is used uh, with the sole proprietorship and partnership so capital end is equals to beginning capital at the net income uh, minus withdrawal is equals to capital end total stockholders equity uh, they are composed of the following stockholders' equity, which is paid up, and the retained earnings. Okay, let's proceed with the journal entries under sole proprietorship. When companies start up the operation of the business, we, we debit cash, we credit owner's capital to record initial startup of the business. When owner withdraws some of his capital for personal use, so we debit drawing, we credit cash. To record withdrawal. With regards to partnership, when companies start up the operation of the business, we debit cash, we credit capital A capital, B capital, and C capital. So we record the capital of all the partners. To record initial startup capital of the business. When owner withdraws some of his capital for personal use, so we debit drawing, we credit cash. Uh, actually, drawing is a contra account of capital to record withdrawal. So, last is the journal entries for the corporation. So, when the company start up the operation of the business, we debit cash, we credit stockholders' equity to record initial startup of the business. When one of the stockholder withdraw his capital, so we debit stockholders' equity and we credit cash. To record the withdrawal of a stockholder on his business. Okay, so hope you understand all the charts of account. And bye guys, you will have accounting in due time. Happy lang. So I'm just hoping uh, matutunan nyo yan balang araw. Bye bye.